In this video, my ants are dying. Nope, can't do it. Can't do the YouTube voice. It's just stupid. I tried it, but I failed. So in this video, my ants be dead. Unless I get them to move out of this tube, because one of my subscribers noticed a big problem in there in a previous video. That black stuff might be mold. And like I said before, mold, not good. No mold, good. Look who's here. Soldier Ant. And yes, this video makes zero sense, but you clicked on it, so this is on you. In a previous video, I made a big mistake, because I said this. I will taste these Blanche Crickets if this video gets 80,000 likes. I will taste these Blanche Crickets if this video gets 80,000 likes. I can't believe you guys did this to me, again. So, later in this video, I'm gonna taste one of these Blanche crickets. Yummy. But first, we need the ants to move out this moldy tube ASAP. Also, the water in the tube is almost gone. And as a biologist, I can tell you, water is essential. Yes, I know that is not how you spell essential. Just... Just okay. To get the ants to move out, I just need to expose them to light. They will get more active, as you can see here. And it worked, because later in this video, the big move happened. Okay, let's move on. While I was waiting for the ants to be ready to move out, I took the time to clean out their trash. And luckily, ants are cleaner than me. They store most of their trash at one spot. This makes it easier for me to clean. Since I'm taking out their old tube, of course, I'm preparing a new one, in case they prefer this over the nest areas. Damn it. I'm so good at making videos. So this is just a normal test tube with water and a cotton to block it. I'm wrapping it in alumin, alumi, alumi, in silver foil. This way the tube is dark, but I can still uncover it when I need to check on the ends. Oh damn it. I know that moving into this nest areas would be cooler, but I want them to have options and I want the best for the ends. And the best for the ants is not to be crushed by this new tube. After the big move, you will see what the ants prefer. The tube or the nest areas. Yeah, blurring this will definitely build up suspense. It is definitely not clear that this isn't the tube. The ants are starting to move out. And watch, who is that? Do we have to show that image and play that music every time we see soldier ant? Yes. Yes I do. The ants seem to ignore the new tube altogether. But the most important thing is that they are getting out of the old tube, away from the mold. Hey, look who's back. As you can see, there is a pretty big panic going on in the tube, but it is for their own good. I don't like to stress them out, but they really need to get away from that mold. Mold can kill ants. And this ant here is a bit confused doesn't know where to go with the giant larvae and also the queen is wondering what the hell is happening if it wasn't for that ant shit i would have gotten a great shot of her but shit happens i guess she wanders outside for a while to see what all the fuss is about but i guess she's my spirit animal because quickly after going out she thinks hell no and goes back inside like this video if the queen is your spirit animal too do it do it now. The ants seem to have chosen a new nesting area and are starting to move out all their seeds. This is a seed collecting species, just like in the movie A Bug's Life. Now let's follow Bob here to see where she's going. Into the nest she goes. This red foil is used to block the light for the ants. For them, it's dark in the nest, but we can still see through. The next couple of hours, the ants kept working. When I checked back in the tube, the queen was gone. No, I didn't anticipate that. <sighs> I'm sorry. But yeah, there she is. The nest is still pretty empty, but a few hours later, most of the seeds were already moved. It looks like they also moved some eggs and larvae, but definitely not all. They still got a lot of work to do, but not before a lunch break. And lunch, for these ants, is bread. 
they process the seeds they collect into this vomit looking thing which is called and bread and also soldier ant here likes the taste no i'm not doing it this time almost all the seeds are gone so they got one thing left to do and that is move the larvae and this is one big ass larvae this will probably become another soldier let's wait for her here How long is this going to take? I think she is almost there. Finally. Bob is working so hard, I think she deserves a like. In case you didn't notice, that was me begging for likes, but just subtle. She's almost there. That must have been so tiring, dragging the giant larvae all that way. I think she's going to be so pissed when she realizes there's a perfectly good nest right next to the old tube. Now, the only thing that is left in the tube is the end bread, so I think it's time to take it out. Gently shaking out all the ends. And don't worry, I'm giving back their bread, I'm not throwing it away. That actually looks pretty good. No, don't do it. Don't do it. If this video gets 150,000 likes, I will taste it. Damn it. First, I still need to taste the crickets in the end of this video. But before that, I ran into a big problem. Some of the ants had escaped. I couldn't film it, but of course, I kept my cool and composure. Like you can see in this reenactment. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh damn. Damn it. And because I stayed so cool and relaxed, I was able to put all the ants safely back into the terrarium. But now, the big question is, how the hell did they escape? Tell me, tell me your little ever. How, how did you do it? I don't think they can escape through this lid, but to be sure, I better apply some more Ameisen aus Bruchschutz oil. This roughly translates to, I hope you stay in the terrarium this time you little effers, oil. I just apply it with this sponge. This way it forms a barrier that the ants can't cross or shouldn't be able to cross. One day later, the queen was gone again. Damn, what is this queen? A ninja? The seats were still there. And also some workers with pupae, eggs and larvae were still in the nest. But then where is the queen? That is when I noticed a lot of movement in the other nest. I don't know if the queen is in there because I can't look inside. So I kept watching here for a while. This is soldier ant, not the queen. You were waiting for the rock music, weren't you? They started bringing the larvae up to feed them pieces of cricket. It is like they're rubbing it in my face and are saying, this is you, later. Yeah, yeah, I know, I still gotta taste it. But first, I need to be sure that the queen is safe. They keep rubbing these crickets in my face. No, Bob, this one is for you. I took a look at the back of the nest area and then I saw this. The ants had started digging deeper, but I still couldn't see the queen until a day later. There she is, safe and sound. So I guess there's no reason to keep stalling. Tasting time. Yummy. Here we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Now it's only fair that the ants get one too. These ants will keep digging in the nest and will keep producing bigger soldiers, so stay tuned for that. Like always, don't click off. Please click on this video on the end screen, it will help me a lot. Thanks. Thank you to all patrons and members and everyone that watched. I think you'll like this video next. Bye.